When is a good age for you to retire as an engineer? Well, in this episode of the Engineering Manager's 80-20 Shorts, I am going to ask that question to expert Bill Keen, author of Keen on Retirement Engineering, The Second Half of Your Life. So, Bill, what's the answer to that question? I restate the question. When is the best time to, to retire specifically and only from a financial standpoint, that's the key. And this is somewhat of a trick question because I get answers that are very smart, like 59 and a half could be an option. That's when you can access your retirement accounts without a penalty. 62, that could be an option because that's when you can get social security at the earliest age. Unless you're a widow, it would be 60. 65 was a, is another option thrown out because that's when Medicare starts and healthcare is a big topic of discussion today. All of those are very viable answers, but the answer I'm looking for is none of those. The answer is this, from a financial standpoint, only the best time to retire is never. And I get some groans out there in the audience, but then I get a few people that say, no, you know what, we get that. Because as engineers, we're looking at our, our assets and we're looking at the tra trajectory of our lives and we say, my goodness, I'm making a nice salary. I'm saving quite a bit of money. And the concept of having the paycheck stop and now living on my assets, I've now gone from a saver to someone who is no longer saving to someone who is spending money. That can be very daunting. It can be overwhelming to a lot of folks to think that's even possible. It's, and, I, and it takes about six months to a year after retirement, in my experience, for most engineers to really settle in that that's okay. Of course, if the proper planning has been done and they do have the asset base to be able to retire, that's a key component here. You could always work another year. You could always make another year's salary. You could always save another year and defer spending money. That's always on the table unless you've been downsized and you don't, or you have a health issue and you don't have a choice. So there becomes a time that a crossover period appears in folks' minds and they say, one more year of life, one more year of deferring working on my health, deferring working on my relationships, deferring working on that bucket list or those hobbies. One more year of income is not worth one more year of my life. And this, the decision to retire becomes very clear to them. And I've seen it. I've been in 15,000 personal retirement planning meetings with engineers over nearly three decades. And I've seen this play out in some form with nearly every single one of the folks we've retired where they become, it becomes very clear that now is the time to move into that next phase of life. And I call it the best phase of life. In fact, that's why I call it engineering your retirement, engineering the second half. Yeah, they might be slightly older than, you know, what we think is our life expectancy, the halfway point, but I still think the best is yet to come for folks who've planned appropriately, have lived within their means, have the resources to do it. And the key here is I want folks to retire when they're able to financially, not before, but when they're still able to enjoy it as well. So that's, that's kind of the keys. And there's a lot of pieces of data and things we talked about earlier that go into that, including some very detailed Monte Carlo simulations with statistical modeling, finding those weak spots and understanding what, what our limitations are of our plan and what we can spend and what we can't do and being aware and, under, and engaged and educated on what's possible. But when that's the case, it's time to make that decision. It's one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make in your life. And we honor that and respect that. Yeah, and for sure. And unfortunately for us as engineers, you know, you're always looking for a, a finite answer, a specific answer. But I think in this case, as Bill suggests, you know, everyone's different. And there isn't going to be the same age for every single engineer, every single person out there. And a lot of it's dependent upon your planning process and what you planned for and what you put into place over the last 15, 20, maybe even 30 years before you got to that point of making that decision. And so right. thank you to Bill Keen for just sharing a little bit of insights here. We're going to link to the full podcast episode that I did with Bill on the Engineering Career Coach podcast, where he's going to really walk through a checklist um, of steps that you can take to think about and execute on a retirement plan that can be helpful for you. So Bill, thanks a lot for spending some time with us here in the short video. And we look forward to sharing this and the longer podcast episode with our listeners. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony.